Good day, everyone. I am Andrew M. Alba, a technical specialist for the nursing program of High Tech Power Incorporated. So uh, welcome to the distance learning program for nursing. So this is what we have. We have the smart advanced complete education solutions for nursing towards COD and COE from first year to fourth year. So this is our online virtual simulation for the nursing program. We have here the uh, Sentinel-U, which is the advanced online virtual clinical simulations and scenarios. So what's good about this is uh, it has a lot of, uh, we have here a lot of modules uh, that is uh, basically focused on the nursing program. So this can also be used by the midwifery program. Okay, so we have here the uh, different modules like the Sentinel City, which is actually a community health nursing module in the urban setting. And then we have there the family support and home assessment with care plan module. We have there the patient management and delegation module. And we have there the uh, Sentinel Town, which is also a community health nursing module. Uh, but in the uh, rural setting naman po. And uh, also we have there the uh, nursing quality indicators, the prioritization of care in the hospital and in the clinic, uh, prioritization of care, antepartum, intrapartum care, prioritization of care, postpartum neonatal care, prioritization of care, adult surgical care. So this is what we have for the uh, online uh, learning platform or online simulations for uh, nursing made by Sentinel U. By the way, Sentinel U is uh, from the USA. Um, they're partnered with the top organizations in the USA or the nursing organizations. So actually, we have a second batch of modules uh, which came out uh, that all came out last October 2020, but uh, we're just waiting for them to go live so that we can uh, include them in this presentation later on. Okay, so uh, this uh, online learning platform can be used by the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program and the Bachelor of Science in Midwifery. So this is an online uh, learning platform, uh, web-based. Uh, so, we, so we need an internet connection for this. And then uh, this is a yearly subscription. And then you can see there on the screen, we have there the different websites for you to check them out. And then, uh, we have here uh, assessment and the simulations for the different modules. And then, so these are the highlights of the uh, Sentinel U online learning platform. We have there number one, enhanced learning efficiency through virtual nursing simulations and clinicals. Number two, Sentinel U's virtual nursing simulations and clinicals are in engaging, effective, economical, and convenient for learners to safely learn anywhere at any time with any smart device while earning virtual clinical hours. So number three, based on nursing standards, the, the clinicals were developed by experienced nursing faculty. So it aligns with QC and quality and safety competencies, AAC and BSN essentials, National League for Nursing core competencies, and Quad Council core competencies. So we can say that the content here are very reliable. And number five, Sentinel U is a division of American Sentinel University with 20 years of online education experience, exclusively focusing on nursing and healthcare professionals. The university is accredited regionally and by CCNE, ACN, and DEAC. So here, the learners can sharpen, uh, sharpen clinical reasoning, decision-making skills, and critical thinking competency while facing realistic patient encounters. They can also practice community health and population health in a risk-free environment. They can also access virtual simulations on demand anywhere and anytime because this is um, a uh, web-based uh, platform. They can also engage in uh, realistic patient encounters across healthcare settings. They can get real-time feedback through comprehensive digital, uh, digital brief debriefs. They can access our, our robust product portfolio that includes interactive learning experiences in areas such as pediatrics, gerontology, mental health, and community health applications. They can also earn simulated clinical, clinical hours here. But of course, it will depend upon the uh, curriculum or the uh, department head if they will uh, 
credit the uh, simulated clinical hours. Okay. So this is also immersive virtual simulations that facilitate learning anywhere, uh, anytime and anywhere. They have nursing simulation scenarios that build knowledge and skills, and they have also virtual clinical solutions that address nursing and healthcare education pressures, like, for example, difficulty in securing clinical placement sites, concerns for patient safety, accessibility, cost, and effectiveness. So our first module, we have here the prioritization of care, the postpartum and neonatal care. So this virtual clinical presents the learner with a variety of postpartum and newborn patients. Uh, mothers and babies who are experiencing an illness or injury that is life threatening should receive inpatient care in an OB unit. However, mothers and babies who are not experiencing an illness or injury that is life threatening but require follow-up within the next year or two should continue care in the outpatient women's health clinic. So the learner must use clinical judgment skills to decide if their care should be managed in the OB unit or the women's health clinic. So if you can see on the picture on our screen, uh, we have there the picture of our patient and uh, that is actually our landing page uh, in our simulation proper. So the left uh, side, we have there the window um, uh, that uh, has the different uh, information about the uh, patient. And on the right side, we have there the window. Uh, here we will put our all the information that you get in the right, uh, on, on the left side of the screen, uh, the left window. So we're going to put that information on that window on the right side. Okay, so our uh, objective here uh, is to determine where can, shall we put the patient, whether in the outpatient or in the inpatient care. Okay, so the learner must use clinical judgment skills to decide if their care should be managed in the OB unit or women's health clinic. Then the learners prioritize the order in which the five patients should receive care and implement individualized nursing interventions. So this clinical fosters critical thinking and builds confidence for students and practicing nurses in a clinical setting. This clinical comes with inpatient or outpatient setting options and includes a variety of patient conditions such as neonatal infection, postpartum hemorrhage, postmaturity syndrome, mastitis, adolescent mother, hyperbilirubinemia or circumcision, and warfarin therapy. So it aligns with NCLEX, QS and quality, uh, QS and competencies, and AAC and BSN essentials. And uh, here learners can uh, earn two simulated clinical hours. Our next module is the, is the uh, Sentinel CT module. This is actually an urban population and community health nursing module. So if you can see on the picture, it is very modern and the uh, video graphics here are very good. Uh, I'm sure uh, our students uh, using this will not be bored because this is an interactive module. Okay, so here they have uh, 13 diverse citizens, 16 locations with 100 plus sets of unique data and demographics. We have here a camera nose wizard for recording observations. This is fully integrated with the family support and home assessment with care plan module. And they have a assignment catalog that includes 30 easily implemented assignments with grading rubrics. So they also have admin portal with access to activity reports, and they have a detailed faculty guide complete with quick start guide, troubleshooting, teaching suggestions, FAQs, and more. So it aligns with QSN quality and safety competencies, AAC and BSN essentials, National League for Nursing core competencies, and Quad Council core competencies. So here learners can earn 5 to 30 plus simulated clinical hours. So these are the different assignments for available for the Sentinel City module. We have here the family support assessment, home safety assessment, nursing diagnosis and care plan, tornado emergency response planning, and so on and so forth. Our next module is the Sentinel Town module. This is actually um, oh, this is also a community health nursing module, but in the rural setting. So here, if you can see on the picture, we're actually inside a uh, rural community and uh, we're going to tour around that community and uh, 
we'll get a lot of information. Uh, we have to observe and gather a lot of information here. So here we have five community citizens exposing students to diverse health issues. We have here 17 informants providing community subsystem information. We have 10 locations with unique data and demographics. And it also has camera and notes wizard for recording observations. It also has an assignment catalog that includes 24 easily implemented assignments with grading rubrics. It also has faculty dashboard that provides insight into student capabilities and progress. So uh, it also has faculty resource portal, a student resource portal, and also aligns with the uh, QSEN quality uh, and safety competencies, AC and BSN essentials, National League for Nursing core competencies, and Quad Council core competencies. So here learners can earn five to 30 plus simulated clinical hours. So these are the different assignments available for the Sentinel Town module. And you can see on the screen our sample citizens that you will uh, see uh, inside the Sentinel Town module. Okay, our next module is a prioritization of care in the hospital setting. So here, realistic scenarios of varying difficulty where prioritization of care is critical. Uh, it has a remediation provided immediately for each decision, and it has opportunity to earn badges to keep learning fun. And it has access to dashboard metrics and activity reports. Uh, it has detailed faculty guide. Uh, it Here, it has 40 diverse patients and five levels of increasing difficulty. So it contains nine skill categories, including cardiac, respiratory, neurology, genitourinary, pediatrics, mental health care, and more. It also has uh, the faculty and students can generate reports identifying their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, this includes faculty guide and in simulation assignments. And what's good about this, it has a standard high stakes uh, version that allows one or two attempts before grading. So it's like uh, giving uh, a second chance to the uh, students for them to improve their um, uh, performance and their grade. So before the final grade is uh, uh, finalized by the system. So uh, this is called the high stakes version. And it also has a low stakes practice version that enables unlimited self-paced drills. So another module is a prioritization of care in the clinic uh, setting. So here we have 50 total patients and five levels of increasing difficulty. It has significant focus on mental health or psych, drugs or alcohol, and women's health patients. Highly requested settings, including a behavioral health clinic, home clinic, chill clinic, women's health clinic, and pediatric clinic. So here we can have a lot of uh, um, experiences because we are going into a lot of uh, type of clinic, uh, like the ones mentioned. And here, realistic scenarios of varying difficulty where prioritization of care is critical. So almost it also has uh, almost the same uh, features. And here, learners can earn 4 to 12 simulated clinical hours. Another module is the patient management and delegation module. It provides practice setting equity levels, scheduling patients to nurses, delegating tasks to nursing assistants, and prioritizing care. Okay, so uh, it has 50 diverse patients and five levels of increasing difficulty. So also remediation is provided immediately for each decision. It also has opportunity to earn badges to keep learning fun. It also has uh, access to dashboard metrics and activity reports. And also has detailed faculty training guides and aligns with uh, AAC, MBS, and Essentials, Qs and com competencies, and NCLEX. So here, learners can earn four to seven simulated clinical hours. Our next module is a family support and home assessment with care plan module. Here, uh, what's good about this is because we actually go into the uh, living quarters of our patient and we assess the uh, family or the living conditions. And as you can see on the picture on their screen, we have there, you can see the spilled water, uh, maybe the gas stove or gas range was not turned off and a lot of uh, scattered uh, things all, are, all around the uh, inside the house. So this may be uh, hazards no, for the family. So this is going to be uh, what we're going to observe and to assess. So the, here, learners practice observation skills, critical thinking, clinical recommendations, and rationale. 
It creates a consistent based evaluation for faculty and it has the access to dashboard metrics and activity reports. So also the, almost the same features, it exposes students to issues associated with home safety, low income, neglect, drug use, and more. This can be used with other simulation products or independently, for example, in pediatrics, mental health, case management, and etc. So here learners can earn five to eight simulated clinical hours. Another module we have here, the nursing quality indicators. Here, learners will practice uh, clinical judgment and decision-making skills that will impact the quality and safety of a healthcare organization. As learners evaluate 10 patients, they will immediately see how their care decision affects structure, outcome, process, and cost. Background and electronic medical record, test results, and imaging are provided for each patient. It has access to dashboard metrics and activity reports. It also has detailed faculty and training guides. It aligns with two AAC, MBS, and Essentials. And at the end of the scenario, there's an automated report that displays the total number of correct responses for each person. So it included in nursing leadership and management, transition to practice, nursing quality and safety capstone courses. Learn here, learners can earn three to six simulated clinical hours. Okay, so another module we have here, the care of patients, antipartum and intrapartum care. So this virtual clinical presents the learner with a variety of antipartum or intrapartum patients. So patients who are experiencing an illness or injury that is life threatening to themselves or their fetus should receive inpatient care in an OB unit. However, patients who are not experiencing an illness or injury that is life threatening but require follow up within the next day or two should receive outpatient care in the women's health clinic. So the learner must use clinical judgment skills to decide if their care should be managed in the OB unit or women's health clinic. Then the learners prioritize the order in which the five patients should receive care and implement individualized nursing interventions. This virtual clinical fosters critical thinking and builds confidence for students and practicing nurses in a clinical setting. So this clinical comes with inpatient or outpatient setting options and includes a variety of patient conditions such as ectopic pregnancy, gestational diabetes, hypothyroidism, placenta previa, and preterm labor. So here the learners can earn two simulated clinical hours. So our next module, the care of patients in adult surgical care. So here, uh, this virtual clinical presents the learner with a variety of adult preoperative and postoperative patients experiencing complications or recovering from a complex surgery. Some of these patients require inpatient surgical care while others are appropriate for outpatient surgical care. So the learner must use clinical judgment skills to decide if their care should be managed in the hospital or outpatient surgical services. Then the learners prioritize the order in which five patients should receive care and implement individualized nursing interventions. So this virtual clinical fosters critical thinking and builds confidence for students and practicing nurses in a clinical setting. So this clinical comes with surgical or rehab setting options and includes a variety of patient conditions such as trauma care, arthroscopy, traumatic brain injury, SP mitral valve replacement, post-operative complications, and pseudoaneurysm. So here learners can earn two simulated clinical hours. Okay, so here we have the, the different pages to our catalog of the Sentinel U. So this is already complete based on the more different modules that we discussed uh, earlier. Okay, so we can uh, provide you with a copy of this upon request. And okay, so uh, we have here our uh, online learning platform. We call it the Sentinel U. So uh, we have a lot of uh, modules uh, catering to different uh, subjects uh, for nursing, like for example, capstone integrated concepts, communications, leadership, teamwork, community population health, pediatrics, clinic based care, maternal newborn nursing, telehealth, medical surgical, mental behavioral health, prioritization or delegation, and geriatrics. Okay, so uh, you, you can choose from a lot of uh, different uh, 
modules for different subjects for nursing and midwifery program. For the system requirements, uh, you just need an internet connection and a standards compliant browser. For example, we need a Microsoft Edge for the Windows 10 and later versions. We need a Google Chrome for the Windows 8.1 and later versions and Mac OS and later versions. We need also an Apple Safari for the Mac OS and later versions. For the laptop or desktop computer, uh, minimum i5 with four gigabyte RAM memory. And uh, for the tablet or smartphone, we need the minimum of four gigabyte RAM memory. But of course, we recommend those gadgets with higher specifications so we can uh, appreciate these different simulations of this platform. We also have laboratory and hospital equipment, like for example, um, human anatomical models, delivery table, birthing simulators or mannequin simulators, operating table, hospital beds. We also have respiratory ventilators, EKG, ECG machine, defibrillators, infusion pumps, uh, surgical tables, enteral feeding pumps, and many more. We can also provide the skills laboratory complete with the following, the hospital beds, mannequin patients, different equipment beside the bed, lavatory, utility room, storage cabinets, chairs to tables, partition curtains with assembly, air conditioning, CCTV cameras, and monitor. We can also provide you with a, a, a smart e-classroom complete with the following uh, gadgets uh, like laptops and tablets. Also, we have there the smart e-blackboard, uh, e mobile charging station, fully air-conditioned na po yung room and the, with chairs and tables and CCTV cameras and monitor. monitor. But if you already have a, a skills laboratory or a smart e-classroom and you may want to uh, re renovate uh, the facility, so you can uh, always email us your design if you have a different design and we will just tailor fit the design based on your requirements. Okay, so these are the different uh, uh, layout that we have. Uh, but of course, you can have your own uh, layout as well. But uh, we can just uh, we just want to show you uh, our layout for the skills laboratory and the smart e classroom. So there you have it, you can also uh, have an additional equipment uh, in our skills laboratory. And we can also uh, have a different uh, design. Uh, we can just tailor fit the design based on your requirements. Okay, so we have here the webinar schedules. Uh, if you want to attend our webinars no, for the month of August. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for your time and for giving us the opportunity to share with you what we have for the education solutions for nursing and the midwifery program. So you can also contact me at my details below at my mobile numbers and email address. So I'm Andrew M. Alba. I'm the technical specialist manager for the nursing program of High Tech Power Incorporated. So thank you very much and have a great day.